All right, uh, let's see. So let's let's do ironclad this time around. I don't. I'm not going to do ascension mode. Ascension endless just sounds like it would be a pain. So let's let's see what I can do with a. Uh, let's see what I can do with an ironclad round on this one. Obtain a curse, 16 max HP, three random potions, char card to obtain, or lose. No, we do not want to lose burning blood. Let's actually choose a card to obtain. Uh, spot weakness ain't bad. Go from there, and mystery machine into a mid boss. Let's let's go that. Yeah, it's been a it's been a couple of days since I've I've played uh, Slay the Spire, so I want to say I'm like a little bit rusty on it, but that's no. Oh, I should probably actually defend. I was like, I'm just gonna hit him a bunch. It's like, wait a second, what am I doing? Uh -uh. Well, there's spot weakness at the wrong time, but that's fine. Did I choose endless or normal. I chose endless. It's up in the top. Uh... So this is going to be a go until I die kind of run. Or go until I get horribly, horribly bored. It, honestly, it could go either way. Honestly. Let's see, max HP. Let's go... Let's go max HP. Uh, especially early on, like, we're going to be getting almost everything. Let's transform a strike. Into Juggernaut. Yeah, honestly, going for, like, a, a defense run could be kind of cool. It'd be tough to pull off, though. And I gotta make sure I don't get, get rid of too many strikes here. Or this is just going to kill me. But I believe in myself. I believe in my ability to do things. Just do that for now. We've got the we got the strength bonus. I... Ooh. Yeah. yeah. He's not gonna increase his, his own strength here that quick. It's, my strength is going up. I'd like to do a, uh, I'm gonna make the characters get max attack and shield. It'd be fun, like a, a really high strength and like, um, well, there's Entrench. We've got signs, I just gotta get barricade and we'll be in a, in a good place. Yeah, because until we get barricade, Entrench kind of becomes pointless. Oh yeah, that'd be perfect, like a, a body slam run. Now, do we hit him for a bit? Yeah, let's just hit him. Let's start the fight. Not gonna do much. But we're probably gonna have spot weakness in here, which I wanna I wanna start with. There we go. And yeah, defending uh, defending will make my life easier. Okay, ghostly armor. And do we do entrench? Take no damage? Sure. Which oh good. That counts as ad adding extra extra block. So that means more or less, uh, uh, well, extra damage for him. And yeah, since I I have a means of generating strength here, I can just uh, kind of repeat it. Uh, let's do spot weakness. I do the defend, but let's actually just do bash because we're gonna want to hit him here. This is gonna hurt, but it's not gonna hurt that bad. Bad. I've had worse Lagavulin fights. Far worse. Unfortunately, that doesn't do anything, but that's okay. Let's see. Bash again, and he's done. And we get the Lantern. Not exactly the greatest, but it's fine. So we could go Rampage. It's good for long runs. Or I could just go for another Entrench. I'm going to go for another Entrench. I'm going to I'm gonna really hope we get a Barricade here. We get Anchor. Okay. And I'm going to... Let's see... I'm gonna start upgrading these these entrenches. Ori Calcum. All right. Do we go? Let's go towards the mystery machine. Upgrade a card or get a relic chance of normality. Normality is not gonna hold me back, and we don't we didn't get it. Perfect. And actually, Paper Frog's kind of amazing for us. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the safe option here. Let's heal. I'd like to upgrade, but we got a mid boss coming up. Guess I should have used those potions. All right, whatever. Liquid bronze in the attack potion might not have been the best idea, but I'll go with it. Okay, now he's not going to attack me on this one. Immolate. Well, that's helpful. Let's grab both of these. So, immolate and just wail on him. Damage. Tons of damage. 
Can't do anything else, though. A calipers would be a, a solid combo with this, too. And yeah, we've got Ori Kelkum, so I can actually just focus on attacking. I don't think I'm going to go with a Berserker build on this one, though. Let's see, the Entrench... No. I, I want to do none of these. Nice part is Jugger Juggernaut plus Ori Kelkum means just... Um, not endless uh, endless damage, but they trigger off of each other. Which is kind of nice. Emulate. Yeah, hopefully we get feed. The boot. Whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. Which is interesting. Works really well with like a lot of small damage here and there. Let's grab headbutt. Because I might be able to chain in trenches. See, so wonder if you could make a relic, what would its ability be? Ooh, it's a that's a toughie. I don't know, actually. Oh, I had one extra energy. I totally forgot about the lantern. Um... Jeez. I don't know about that one. If I could make a relic, what would it be? I'd want it to do something weird. You need thread needle. Thread needle would be incredible on this. I need the I need calipers first though, I think. Let's see. Offering. Ooh. That's a good one. Let's smith something up. Let's um let's keep smithing these in trenches. Because then I'll actually have like a, a use for them. What's a feature that would be fun? I don't know. I'm going to be stuck on that one for a little bit. Okay, so he's going to do 12 to me. I guess let's just drink the um, block potion here. I could have doubled that a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Let's do offering. Let's see what I can do with this one. There's the bash. Strike. Headbutt, which... Does five damage to him. Now let's take uh, Bash back. Might as well kind of extend that, and that does nothing, but that's fine. I would want something that scales well into the end game, because that's probably one of the weakest parts about this game. Is like many of the relics are really, really good later on, but they're kind of garbage uh, early. Or no, 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 no. They're really, really good early on, but they're kind of garbage later. Like especially for endless mode runs. I, ooh, I wonder if there should be, like... This is gonna hurt a bit. We could do... Well, it's gonna do 20 to me. Let's just do, uh... Let's just do those for now. I could have done the speed potion, but... Meh. Oh, we don't have any energy for that one. I got it. No, that would be ridiculously powerful. But it'd be fun to use. Effectively, a uh, a relic that um, a relic that would give you uh, energy based on how big your deck is, like one energy for every uh, twenty five cards in your draw pile. But that would be like goofy strong and not fair. So, very obviously, like wouldn't want to do that. It would work, though. So effectively, just aggregate. But universal. Okay, so... Yeah, I can just kill this guy. There we go. Yeah, who cares about the self-harm? I don't. So we get... I could get another... I, let's keep grabbing Offering. And I could do Runic Dome. We could go Sneko Eye. Or, you know what? No. I've got a better relic. I've got a more interesting relic. Uh, actually, there's a couple of interesting relics that you could just steal uh, features from the daily runs. Because that would be interesting. So honestly, going Sneko Eye early would be a problem. 
Relic that every turn your hand is transformed. <laughs> um, it could. We could also go with a couple of relics from daily mode. Like, uh, one that actually makes it so you just pull... Like, you get a relic that lets you start uh, finding silent cards in the uh, in the draw pool. Or not the draw pool, but the uh, card pool. Or alternatively, an alternative version of Nilri's Codex that's blanks character's no codex that lets you draw cards, like one card per turn, from them. It's, a lot of these seem really bad for Endless. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm stuck at. I could probably make Runic Dome work, so I'm going to go with that. It just really... I hope we get Barricade. Because if we don't get Barricade, this is just going to be a sad, dead run. And, uh... Let's see, shop here on the right. Two shops. Let's see, what else do we have? Anything more interesting? Not overwhelmingly, because we got a ton of mystery machines. I actually think another interesting relic would be one that just turns literally every space into a, a question mark uh, space. Like, that'd be kind of fun. Maybe a bit of a mess. It'd be fun. Okay. Which one of you looks... The shiftiest. All right, there we go. That's one way to kill the birds. I probably could have gone with cleave, honestly, but whatever. Uh, let's see. So I'm not going to hit them multiple times. I got the speed potion. This is a good round for the speed potion. So defend, entrench, spot weakness. There we go. And we'll hit him a little bit. Okay. It's hurdy, but not too bad. Nope. Enemy is not intending to attack here. Nice part is we got Juggernaut going, so we're going to be slowly ticking them down. Unfortunately, they're going to be quickly ticking me down. So let's do defend, defend, entrench. We need some dexterity here. Yeah, flying a little bit blind. Dual wield or iron wave? Let's go iron wave. It suits my purposes really well. Please freaking have a barricade. It does not. It does have a Vajra, which is actually pretty good. I could actually get Vajra on the Mercury Hourglass or Vajra and Blue Candle. Well, no matter what, we get Vajra. So what do you guys think? Blue Candle or Mercury Hourglass? Because if I go Blue Candle, we can easily go with Duvu Doll. Mercury is always useful versus only when you have curses. I'm gonna go blue candle. Mercury hourglass isn't that much damage. And if we can get uh, dead branch, it makes my life easier. All right. Spot weakness, there we go. Juggernaut, ghostly armor, and iron wave. Hey, we actually did do damage to him, sweet biz. Offering. What do you offer to us? So bash, headbutt. Let's take Iron Wave back. They have no block, so let's just entrench. Yeah, it'd be really nice if I could get some like baseline dexterity here. Like uh hmm. Hmm. Let's keep going Iron Wave. Flex could be interesting, Thunderclap could be kind of neat, but getting a bunch of Iron Waves early would actually be rather helpful. Let's do Juggernaut Offering. Iron Wave, Iron Wave, 
Uh, and let's actually just hit him. Because the boot is going to be making my life easier here. Oh, he did more damage than I thought he was going to. Spot weakness. Okay, he's not intending to attack, so let's just pop those. Okay, there we go. Pop another offering. I'm hurting myself a bit here, which is not great. Headbutt. Let's take a uh, ghostly armor back. It's baseline pretty good. Whoop. You can't hurt me. I'm too cool to die. Actually, we should just be able to kill him with this. Perfect. Yeah, burning blood would be nice. Let's let's keep grabbing the energy gen. Okay, so what do we want? Colorless cards or money? Well, we've got another shop coming up. I, I, we have a bonfire immediately after this. So... That'll leave me with 25. I'd like to go longer, but we got another fight. Possibly two. Let's drink this strength potion for this one, just in case. So, Juggernaut up. Go for the bird. Bird was not intending to attack, huh. All right, and we'll save the seeing red for later. Okay, so I got a shit ton of money. Hopefully that'll work more in my favor. Uh, let's see. Go for the bird. Keep popping the offerings. Keep going for the bird. If I down the bird, this will be easier. Now, he has hexed me, but he's probably not going to do... Yeah, no, he did nothing. Oh, come on. What kind of weird RNG is this? Uh, let's see. Let's grab an iron wave. Yeah, we need dead branch. If I can get dead branch and corruption... Ow! Oh, jeez. Okay, I underestimated how much damage he was going to do there. And this guy always hits, like, trucks. I don't like it. Are you going to be able to kill him with this one? No. Defend, defend, and iron wave. There we go. There I got him. So we're pretty hurt. Let's skip these. Some of them might be useful, but not really. So we can offer the anchor or blue candle. Oh... Naloth's Gift is amazing, so let's lose the Anchor for Naloth's Gift. And we get Mummified Hand. We don't have a whole lot of powers here, but that seems like a decent idea. Okay, so we've got some options. We've got some decent options. Apotheosis is generally always a good idea. Gyria is actually pretty good, too. I could go Corruption, but Corruption's a bad move. So yeah, let's let's grab Gyria and Apotheosis for now. Offering up. Okay. We're seeing red. Let's see if I need it. So I gotta go for the cultist first. Nope. Does not intend to attack. We haven't juggernauted yet. At least I've got him down a little bit. We got hexed. Sucks. Juggernaut. Oh. I'm not... Oh, I see. The Juggernaut killed him. That's what happened. Okay, let's... Offering. Apotheosis. Ghostly armor. Entrench. Headbutt. He hurts real bad. Let's grab the iron waves. I don't think he's going to hit me again. I want to stay away from those dazes. No. Nope. Wow. What is this RNG? This is going to hurt. Yep. It's like every time he does anything, it's just like, hmm. Uh, the next round, you get dazes. Not fair. It's okay. I don't think he's dead on this run. Nope, there he goes. All right, perfect. We get an attack potion. And let's grab Sword Boomerang, because I'm actually going to start generating some strength here. <laughs> uh, let's, start by, let's start by resting. Let's see. Offering. 
Let's, let's drink the attack potion. Cleave. Entrench. Headbutt. Bring in Trench back. Kind of a weird, weird set. He's doesn't. He never leads with an attack. It's always perplexing gla uh, gaze. Um. Well, this is awkward. Okay, so Juggernaut. I'm not gonna say it screwed me necessarily. It'll work, and Snecker doesn't do too much damage. Perfect. Uh, let's see. Bash, Iron Wave, Iron Wave, and Ghostly Armor. There we go. Yeah, this is a pretty good setup. I think I'll go... I Later on, I might go Sneko Eye with this, uh, with this combo. Hard to say exactly. Okay, do we go Double Tap or do we go Battle Trance? I could Double Double Tap, which actually could work out really well. Otherwise, we could go Battle Trance just for the extra draw. No, let's go Double Tap. Okay. And I'm kind of wounded. I can heal up to... I'm going to go for the Strength. I don't know if it's a good idea. But we're up, we're up against the Collector, and this probably is a decent move. Okay. Well, this is kind of a... Ass first round. Let's do ghostly armor. Headbutt. Bring that back. I don't know. Stack that defense like nobody's business. It's not like he carries over. Alright. Offering again. Apotheosis. Always, always a good idea. I don't think they're going to hit me on this one. If they do hit me, it's going to be piddles for damage. Nope, we're good. Okay, so... Juggernaut. I'm not going to do defend, because that would be silly. I mean, it would help a little bit. No, it would actually be better than the uh, Ori Kelkum, now that I'm thinking about it. So do we do a bash, or do I just pop Sword Boomerang and Strike? Sword Boomerang and Strike. Kills one of them, actually. That, that works for me. Let's keep rolling that Sword Boomerang. I wouldn't exactly say it's an incredible boon, uh, but it'll keep me up. Okay, my strength is looking real good. So I don't think he's going to attack me. Nope, does not intend to attack. Well, that's fine. Shame that I send both my entrenches that direction. And this is why we desperately need that barricade. Let's just do seeing red. Might as well get the defense. I'm going to take some hits on this one. No, never mind. He's going for the strength. All right, that kind of works for me. Spot weakness. Put this down for a second. Oh, I'm weakened. That's why the damage is reduced. All right, let's grab Sword Boomerang again. I wouldn't say it's the key to victory here, but it helps. Ow. Ugh. Yeah, we gotta keep replacing things. Please don't hit me. Oh, he hit me. He hit me good. Do or die. Okay, so he's going full strength on this one. So let's do double tap, double bash, and he's dead. Okay, that was a little bit more of a close call than I'd like it to be. But we get we get the thing that we are, we've been begging for. Transform all strikes and defends. That seems like a really, really risky move. Whenever you lose HP, draw one card. Runic Cube might not be a bad move. Let's go Lizard Tail. This is going to be a, a run that needs like a little bit of a, a boost. For a bit. I think we'll be okay from now. Especially if I can start with... Um, uh, especially if I can start with... Uh, barricade. Early. Uh, I see a lot of mid-bosses here if I can do it. Would send me to a shop... Do we want to go to a shop? We'll try going for a shop. Who knows what will happen.
Okay, so Apotheosis. Perfect stuff. Double tap. Sword, sword Boomerang. Not exactly the most amazing setup, but that's fine. Keep wailing on him. Didn't kill him. Not close-ish. Okay. Do we have... Defend... Iron Wave. Might as well kill this guy. We still don't have the Barricade. It'd be nice if I, if I could actually get Calipers as kind of like a... An early thing. Okay, let's do that. Didn't really work out the way I wanted it to. That's fine. And entrench. Okay, so I got barricade. Unfortunately, no. Oh, I took like two damage. Tori Gate would actually be a really neat maneuver for this one. Okay. Iron Wave. Headbutt. Take this. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have taken the spot weakness back. Let's just do that for now. Nope. Does not intend to attack. Whoopsies. Alright, whatever. Defend, Iron Wave, and Entrench. I can get to the point where I'm untouchable. It's just going to take some time. Oh, it'd be nice if I could get uh, Feed or Reaper on this run. To be totally honest. Like, grab some of the more uh, ridiculous moves. There we go. Uh... To kind of sustain. Pommel strike. For the draw, almost might be worth it. Let's go pommel strike. We we need the we need the draw here. Okay, so we have barricade. Makes him trench free, which sucks. And we get a strike off on him. Uh, let's see. Bot Weakness, Pommel Strike. Offering, there we go. Another Offering. Hurts. Seeing Red. Okay, so I've, I've already got the defensive combo rolling. So I can, all I just have to do is sustain it here. Let's hit him with the Bash first for the next round. Because yeah, he is not touching me at this point. He might want to, but he ain't getting close. In fact, okay, maybe I didn't need to go to that extent. Let's keep grabbing the seeing reds too. Let's see. Apotheosis. No, he's gonna defend. Is he? Yeah, they're not gonna attack. I don't think any of them are gonna attack, in fact. The spiker oh nope, the middle one did. Yeah, unfortunately, spot weakness is not a uh is not a great card if you're rolling um my current combo. Let's do seeing red. We're gonna be doing some things here. Okay, so let's bring the ghostly armor back. Because I'm probably gonna want it here. The ghostly armor. Keep doing iron waves on this guy. Entrench. So that's 54 armor. And I might. Oh, actually, that wasn't so bad at all. I was like, I might hurt myself really bad here. Hopefully, I won't. I'm just, I guess I could have double tapped the Sphere Guardian, but then again, my defense is looking real nice. So, I can't say I can complain. Oof. Alright, let's just kill him. I probably should have done the Juggernaut, but whatever, this is fine. Yeah, draw is always good. Yep, especially because, like, later on you end up having more energy than you have draw. Though, that's maybe a bit more uh, particular to my... That's more particular to my... my Defect runs. Let's just do double headbutt. Tra take entrench and iron wave. He's almost dead. I'm just gonna kill him. Ghostly armor. Yeah, this is fine. I really like doing like a, a, a super defensive run. I don't get to do them very often, and they're in, they're rather enjoyable. I guess let's just defend and double double defense. I'm surprised we haven't found a single uh. We haven't found a, a single, uh, oh shoot, what's it called? It's not Iron Wave. Ooh, Regen Potion, good stuff. And Searing Blow, which we actually do want to pick up. It's a little late on the run, but I'll grab it all the same. <clears throat> yeah, I'd like Torii Gate, but I'm actually going to grab Panache. 
It's free and it's going to make something else free. Upgrade a card. Hell yeah. Uh, let's see. Do we upgrade Apotheosis or do we start upgrading Searing Blow? Let's start upgrading Searing Blow. Because it's the only one... It's the only card in my setup that can be upgraded an infinite number of times. Okay, so we want to start charging down Bonfire Alley. Well, we're more or less on that route to begin with. Ocean Belt's kind of neat. Okay, so we get Ginger. Can't be weakened anymore. That's a good sign. Uh, lose all gold, gain a relic. Hell yeah. That's... I mean, normally, that's a, that's a bit of a detractor, but for this round, it don't matter. Let's start with the Bash. Do I have Headbutt? No. Well, I have Headbutt. Yeah, let's Headbutt. Let's bring Bash back. I could... Yeah, let's do Seeing Red, just in case. I don't really know what his plans are, and I don't really trust him. So I'm just gonna defend like crazy, just in case. Nope. We are frail, though. Well, we get Panache, we get Juggernaut, which means more Bash, more Iron Wave, and more Searing Blow. Yeah! Okay. Yeah, so if I can if I can actually roll Searing Blow off of things, that'll make this a lot easier. Keep doing the Seeing Red, off the Barricade. Defend. Pre-Strike. Pommel Strike. Bot Weakness, he's not going to attack me. Well, that kind of makes this easier. Admittedly, I might have actually been able to kill him if I had just attacked him. But it's nice to be paranoid. Okay, and Battle Trance. I'm not too wounded. We do have a mid-boss coming up. I believe in myself, and I believe in upgrading Searing Blow repeatedly. I mean, imagine if I could get Searing Blow to do a couple hundred damage. That'd be... That'd be satisfying. I have no money. Hello, giant head. Oh, good. That This actually is going to be much easier. So, do I do offering on this one? Yeah. Do panache first. Juggernaut first. Offering again. Uh, ghostly armor. Defend. Pommel strike. Apotheosis. I was... Okay, I could have done that a little bit better. Uh, I was really hoping that I could, uh... I could get Barricade super early on. No. Oh, no! He is going to attack me. Alright. Oh, it makes it easier. Yeah, as long as I get Barricade and a couple of Entrenches off before he starts hitting me, uh, we're golden. Okay, so there's that. Gets me... Me some extra draws, seeing red, so I can use everything. Double tap, bash. And normally I do the sword boomerangs for a ton of damage, but we're gonna do headbutt. Because I wanna have uh, entrench and entrench. Because yeah, this guy gets real scary. I wanna I wanna avoid as much damage as possible. Okay, so that could have gone better. But we're good. I might have actually been able to kill him sooner had I just doubled up on the sword boomerangs now that I'm thinking about it. Oh well, and limit break. Sure. Okay, let's let's rest. Let's not be stupid. So upgrade searing blow times a thousand. Yup, that's that would be the goal. Okay, double tap. Searing blow, let's just merc the cultist. And go for him. And keep going for him. I do panache, but the only uh, the only power that I want to use is barricade. Every everything else, master card. Okay, there's there's apotheosis. Now I can't use offering, but that's fine. Okay, let's grab uh, entrench. I could use Offering for the extra energy so I can Entrench again. Be a bit wasteful, but I'm going to do it. Because, yeah, the, the more uh, the more block it can generate right now, the better. Okay, so Limit Break. 
defend iron wave and entrench all right so we got this we got this fight in the bag in fact if i if i really like drew this one out i could actually uh potentially uh max both my strength and my uh my defense i don't think i'm going to because that would be silly to the extreme but it'd be fun yeah, I'd like to use Searing Blow, but it's more important to keep slowly just inching that defense up. Yeah, so Kunai. Kunai and Shuriken would be amazing for this run. Baseline. Let's see, do we do, We're going to do Limit Break. Let's start with Battle Trance. Chances are I'm not going to get anything particularly interesting on this one. Limit Break. Double tap, Iron Wave. That's a whole hell of a lot of damage, and 122 defense. I could have used the Sword Boomerang, but still. If you were to overkill something, what boss or mini boss would you do it to? Uh. Jeez. Oh, I mean, honestly, Time Timekeeper is kind of the usual suspect for boss that everybody wants to just kick the shit in. Um, but honestly, for me, Giant Head. I really... I don't even hate Giant Head. I think he's the funniest thing ever. Uh, and... Oh, I could have actually... Oh, no, this is fine. I could do 55 damage to him. But it would ruin the fun. Let, let's just wait. I, I'm gonna... I'm gonna toy with my food a little bit here. We're... Uh, I guess I shouldn't... Or, no. I didn't need to do that. I'm gonna do it anyway. I'm going to toy with my food really hard. Okay, so we have panache, but I don't want to do that. Spot weakness for the extra strength. Defend entrench. Yeah, can't can't hit him with anything. Okay, so my defense is up there. Uh, well, I don't really have a choice on this one, so I guess we'll just knock him down. Can't do anything. All right, end turn. Gah, that strength, beefy. All right, so bash, iron wave. <laughs> Crushed. All right, uh, let's see. So Dark Embrace could be kind of interesting. Fiendfire or just another Juggernaut. We're just going to stack the Juggernauts for now. And I'm going to go Philosopher's Stone. Sozu, Sozu I'll go for if I survive. Treasure rooms in future acts are replaced by elites. Elites no longer drop relics. Oh, that fucking sucks. Or is that... Huh. That might actually wreck my business. Let's see. Question. Are you using a relic to keep my defense up, or is it a card? I'm using a uh, barricade. If I can get... If I can get... Um... If I can get uh, calipers, it'll also work. Okay, so where's the highest density of bonfires? Kind of nowhere. Let's go this way. This guy, shop. Kind of ping pong off up here. Because, yeah, we want to we wanna actually go Searing Blow. Uh, get as many upgrades on, on that as I possibly can. So, Barricade to start. Offering Panache. Pommel Strike. Spot Weakness. Double Tap. Headbutt. Give me that double tap back. Give me that pommel strike back. Oh, I could have actually had to uh, pull pommel strike back. That would have been funny. Uh, let's grab exhum. Ooh, body slam would have been really good too. I stand by. I stand by my decisions. And let's get um. Disarm would be nice, but I'm gonna grab bag of preparation. The more cards I can start with, uh, the higher the chances of me getting like a really strong combo. Okay, so I just have Searing Blow, which will just insta-merc him. Double Iron Wave. 
Yeah, luckily these guys are kind of weak on this one. Which is good. Demon demon form? Demon form. Uh, let's see. Fine loot, monster returns. I guess this is a fine time to find out. Alright, what do I got? Battle Trance. There's the offering. Panache. Let's see what I can do first. So let's do... Barricade. Demon form. Alright, that worked out incredibly well. Iron wave. Now we want to kill the guy in the back. Oh, my other juggernaut just went free. I had actually forgotten about that one. So I could do the offering. No, I don't need to do the offering. So I can just do another Juggernaut, Sword Boomerang for random damage, and Entrench for a little bit more defense. And the rest of that I can't use. Yeah, so the enemies have more HP, do a little bit more damage. The Mimic one, though, I'm not... That might be kind of rough. Oh well. Largely, I believe in myself. I believe in my ability to survive most things, or deal with it. I don't know. Let's see, so we've got Searing Blow, which just does mad damage. So yeah, really what we need here... Oh, hey! Anchor's back! Uh, what we need here is feed. We want Thunderclap. I'm, I don't have a whole lot of AoE, so I'm gonna grab Thunderclap. Okay, spot weakness, a little bit of strength. Offerings. Barricade. Probably better to just... Kill that guy, do some damage to that guy. And instead of popping the uh, the second offering, kind of let my HP come back. Oh, he managed to do some damage to me. Huh. Well, that's fine. Okay, and we want none of these. Let's smith up. Searing blow. Yeah, that's gonna be my that's gonna be my backup here. Try going after that mid boss, but I don't think I want to do that. Okay, so what do we got? We got some stuff here. So demon form, juggernaut, pommel strike. I gotta go for the cultist first. Now I've got anchor. I haven't barricaded. I could limit break and entrench. Chances are they're not going to hit me on this one. I'd save the limit break for later, but we got demon form. I like that new um life, uh, buff icon. Looks nice. All right, so let's do let's kill the cultist dead and kill him dead. Perfect. This is working out well. Got a lot of potions, too. I could go with a second barricade, but that might be a bad move. I'm gonna grab it, though. Redundancy is good. Uh, my deck's getting a little large, and the chances of us finding it... Until we get Whirlwind in a bottle, it seems like a decent idea. Double tap. Iron Wave. Maybe I should have considered one of the ones that actually costs a little bit more, but that's okay. A little demon form up in this. Bring back a uh, pommel strike. I've got I've got energy for days, and never mind, he's dead anyway. I'm gonna grab the headbutt. Um, hmm. nope. I'm gonna lose this. Maybe I should have gone after the mid boss. Oh well. Well. No. Let's go to the left. Oh. Treasure rooms in future acts are replaced by mimics. Oh. So that's future. Okay, so this is kind of our, our last chance to uh, to buff up before shit gets rough. Well, okay. That's, that's fair. I can work that. Let's limit break and exhume... Offering, actually. Offering, and we could just get him with Searing Blow. Alternatively, I do have the Energy Potion. Let's do that. Bash, Searing Blow. He is just dead. We get the Ancient Potion instead. I could do Whirlwind. 
I could do heavy blade. I could do a uh, I could do a number of things here. Heavy blade would kind of do damage. Rampage. I'm actually just gonna skip. I kind of I. Uh, do I want money? I got blue candle, so doubt really isn't that big of a hold back. And actually, I'm gonna I'm gonna start lifting with Giria. I'd like to keep upgrading the Searing Blow, but we only use it occasionally. And, uh, it's a little bit more important for me to, uh, to have that strength for all of my other abilities, too. Okay, Whirlwind AoE. I don't think I really need the AoE. It's also really expensive-ish. Okay. Start with... Iron Wave. Let's go for the looter. He tends to run. I also have, like, Panache and a couple other things. Okay, good. Yeah, I cannot be weakened. Screw you. Normality. Let's see. Double tap. Iron Wave. And he's dead. Oh, man. If I could have feed on this run, I would be so happy. We'll grab the Cleave. Let's get rid of the Ancient Potion for the Dexterity Potion. We've got a mid-boss coming up. Let's let's finish lifting there. It'd be neat if uh, Giria actually didn't have a limit. Ooh, okay, this guy this guy's gonna hurt a bit. Let's do not in the first round. Actually, is it's his second round. It's when all the fires show up. That's that's when he becomes dangerous. So let's drink the Dex potion preemptively. gonna take that back. We don't have calipers. And yeah, now now he's gonna get punchy. Let's do normality. Let's do offering. Limit break. Seeing red. Bash. Let's get that going. I guess we'll do thunderclap as well, because that'll be helpful. Offering again. Panache. Let's see, what do we what do we have? I've already done apotheosis. So that's not going to help me that much. Let's let's use the Searing Blow. Seeing red again. Exume. Give me an Offering Plus. Pop Doubt. Get rid of that. We've got Barricade. Okay. And I'm not going to draw any more here. So let's let's see what I can grab. Um, hmm. Sword Boomerang. And he's dead. Before he even gets uh, hit in, we have destroyed him. So we could go another demon form. Yeah, let's go another demon form. And interesting. Choose a blight. Whenever you defeat a boss, obtain two random curses. Or lose 50% of your max HP. Well, absolutely accursed, but that... Oh, that's gonna suck. They really don't want you winning this one. Alright, well, where's the, um, where's the bonfire train? Looks like it goes up the right side. We might have to tango with the mid-boss, though. Yeah, this this sucks a little bit more. I didn't... exactly gamble on getting a Blight like that. I mean, it's okay. I'm not too buggered by it. I wish double I wish you could double barricade and act as like a metallicize or something. That'd be that'd be cool. Okay. Double tap, searing blow, and he's just dead. Perfect. This just does 34 damage. Yeah, let's let's grab the heavy blade plus. Okay, let's get rid of that. And that. Or these two. Probably. Yeah, thank you, Blue Candle. Yeah, it, uh... We'd be okay without it, but it would be tougher. Double tap, thunderclap. Should probably pull this, see what I get. Okay, so we get panache, we get barricade. I could do offering so I could do more, more things, but nah. I'm fine. This is fine. I don't think he's going to be able to touch me. Seeing red, pommel strike. 
Give me that bash. Probably should have actually done the bash first now that I'm thinking about it, but I think I'm just going to kill him. There we go. The debuffs you keep getting with each round, are they permanent? Yeah, they're permanent. It'd be lovely if you could get rid of them somehow, but I don't know of a way. Okay. Offer Naloth's gift for Naloth's gift. Huh. Okay, note to self, don't do that one a second time around. We still have Naloth's gift, which is good, though. Like, it, did, it didn't actually screw me over. Like, I was suddenly very afraid would happen. Okay, uh, let's do... Thunderclap. For the weakness of potion at him, just in case. Probably should have actually... Eh, whatever. Limit break. Searing blow. Headbutt. Give me that searing blow back. We'll kill him on the next round. Oh. He's a moron. Eh, so am I. Okay, do we do barricade or do we... Let's go all out on him. Searing blow. Headbutt. Searing blow back. Leave. Iron wave. Okay, perfect. I'm a moron, but so is he. I don't entirely know what his initial starting move there was. But it didn't work out for him. So I could go for another demon form, but I think at that point it's actually going to hold me back. These these fights aren't very long. Now let's go back to upgrading the Searing Blow. Waiting for that beautiful body slam. We had one go by, but I passed it up like a moron. I'm not too bothered by it, but I could... It, hmm, I could have done it better. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, that's double tap. Let's start with the Pommel Strike. Do I have anything else there? Nope. I guess I'll just do Battle Trance. That gets me Demon Form at the very least. Double Tap, Heavy Blade. Hit him where it's hurtiest. Headbutt. Let's just take Heavy Blade back. I'll probably... I might actually just kill him this round. Yep, nope, we got him. Yeah, my opening round is particularly strong. I could do a second Searing Blow, but that'd be a bad idea. Another Armament? We'll grab an Armament. I know we have an Apotheosis hanging out, but it's... Unsurprisingly elusive. So in previous versions, or previous runs, you could get skip a card for max HP. Uh, that's the, um, that's a bowl that you get. Okay, Apotheosis, Pommel Strike, Limit Break, and Searing Blow. Ow! Oof, that hurt. Okay. Battle Trance. We don't have... Uh... Take that Searing Blow back. I'd keep hitting him, but this guy is killing me. Uh, let's see. What do we have here? I do have Apotheosis, but I don't care for that. So let's do Offering. Actually, I could just kill him now that I'm looking at it. Let's lose. I really need to use these potions. Yeah, he didn't give me a relic. Oh, that's rough. Now, if I was really thinking about this build, what I, I should have done... Okay, let's drink a regen potion. What I should have done, honestly... Um, let's see, which one do we go for? Weakest Link first, always. I could have gone for the bash, but no, we want to stack our defense. Um, what I could have done was go for an extremely small deck that was pretty much just Searing Blow and nothing else. But that always seems wildly in uh, inadvisable, I guess would be the term. Okay, um, let's grab Pommel Strike. The more draw we can get, the better. Spinning top would be nice on this one. Ice cream too, but to a lesser degree. 
Okay, so Pommel Strike, Pommel Strike you. They're probably both gonna hit me. Well, I should have armaments first. You cleave. Kill that guy. Uh, let's grab armaments back. We might have, uh... That kind of worked out. Okay, uh, let's see what do I have in here. Let's exhume the seeing red. Pop the seeing red. Pop the offering. Sucks to hurt myself like that, but kind of need it. Okay. Demon form. Juggernaut. Demon form again. Thunderclap. Strike. There we go. Damage. And we're kind of healing. We have perfected strike, but I don't want that. Clothesline? Clothesline. Seems like a reasonable idea. And these guys again. It's kind of a lot of the same customers. Let's let's drink some strength here. Get rid of that. I should have gone with that cube that actually makes me draw cards whenever I hurt myself. I kind of like initially poo-pooed it because I was like, ah, I probably don't need that. No, I probably very much did need that. That actually would have been incredible. Okay, we've already got barricade. I should have maybe headbutted the entrench back. Let's see, are we going to do a Dead Branch Corruption build, or did that already get passed up? I haven't passed up, passed it up, but it just hasn't been doable with this setup. Let's keep the uh, defense rolling. We do... Oh, I really need Dead Branch. Unfortunately, with uh, a Cursed, we're going to be... This is going to suck. Apotheosis. Cleave. Pommel strike. Nothing. Well, that's fine. It would be nice to climb Bullshit Mountain today, but right now I think we are solidly in... I'm just trying very hard not to die. Luckily, I'm doing an actually decent job of getting here. I know I know people are all, always going to have complaints about how I play, but I've kind of given up trying to please that necessarily. So we get barricade right off the bat. Uh, let's see. So let's do the entrench headbutt. That way we get the entrench back. Bash, and then sword boomerang. Okay. Demon form. Limit break. Defend. Entrench. And just cleave. Which does a stupid amount of damage to him. Paper Frog is insane. Okay. Do Inflame. That makes something free. Armaments? It makes armaments free. Not really that helpful, given the situation. Battle Trance. And he's just dead. Perfect. None of these. We were fighting a lot of cultists today. Cultists and cult-adjacent things. It's weird and unnerving, and I don't like it. Okay, uh, I do have... Let's exhume. Offering back. Burn... God damn it, I can't burn normality. Alright, well, that bit me in the butt. Okay, seeing red. I've got some energy here. Well, let's do demon form for obvious reasons. Entrench. I'm gonna drink this. These guys are actually conceivably more dangerous than um, most. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Oh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to rest at a bonfire after this. Bash, close line, and defend. I should not have defended. Okay. This hurt a little bit more than I thought it was going to. Um, kill him, kill him. Yeah, we've got the strength, but that normality ruined us. Alright, this might be, this might be, uh, where we get off the bus. Depends on how lucky we are. Uh, yeah. I'm not gonna be stupid here. Barricade. Juggernaut. Ghostly armor. Headbutt. 
Let's take the ghostly armor back. I think I'll be okay. I've got I've got the combo as long as I don't get really unlucky. Alright. So I could do seeing red, but I I don't need it on this one. I guess I should have used the barricade. Uh maybe? Maybe not. Okay. So we have Armaments. Searing Blow. Gets me an exhume that I can't I have no use for. But that's okay. I can do it. I I got lucky. The uh the early defensive combo is going to make this substantially easier for me. Let's pop the inflame first. Okay. Second inflame. Demon form. Battle trance. Uh, let's see, we could do Thunderclap. Gets me a Panache. Makes something else free. The iron iron waves are free. I don't know if he's gonna hit me, but I'm gonna Yep, okay, he is gonna hit me. I got 78 though. That's that's some feel good. And let's take uh Let's take entrench back. I was hoping I could I was hoping I could do another debuff to weaken him. But I guess that'll have to do for now. So he is going to do not nearly enough damage to hurt me. Or kill me. Or even worry me at this point. Yeah, that could have gone bad. Luckily we are uh We are butt kicking. And there we go. So we get two more curses. I really hope we get um Why are they all blights? Is is it the mimic infestation? This is not fair. All right, up the mystery machine. Yeah, because there's a shop there, and we've got, we've got the courier, so I can work with this. I wish I could get rid of Mimic Infestation, because that is... I'm not going to say it's outright ruining the run, but it is significantly um, impinging upon my ability to do anything. Okay, so Clothesline's just going to kill any one of these guys. Oh, no, never mind, it's not. Yeah, are there any shops? There is a shop. So we've got we've got that going for us. We've we've got stuff going for us. Uh I'm probably gonna die before Oh god, yeah, I'm gonna die before I get there. That round one intangibility is brutal. All it takes is one of these guys. No, they're not going to hit me. Yeah, that intangible is rough. Uh, I mean, honestly, the mimic infestation period is just what's ruining me more than anything else. Uh, my hand being a little bit smaller would work. Let's let's leave. This is not worth. Uh, let's see. Buy three potions. Forty gold. Berry in a bottle. All right, that'll that'll help. Let's get rid of normality. Ow. Got seeing red. Unfortunately, we keep getting um, searing blow on the first round, which is just so shitty. I mean, at least uh, I should probably have been going for the fire orb. At least we've got the the boot that increases my damage to five. That helps. we have. I've got an exhume. Let's let's exhume the seeing red. And I just have to kill that guy. Okay, so that worked out for me. All the flame bruiser has to do to kill me is just attack once. And there it is. All right, so there goes lizard tail. I've got some fallbacks here, 
but uh, round round one intangibility is is just mean. First writhe. Well, I'm getting up there in HP. Unfortunately, we keep getting the searing blow on the first round, too, which is kind of rough. Alright. Bottled, bottled Tornado. So let's grab Barricade. Without the Barricade, we cannot win. Meat on the Bone. And bottled Flame, start with an attack. Do we have any attacks that would be... Pommel Strike actually might not be a bad idea. Let's start with Pommel Strike. I go with Searing Blow, but starting... Oh, there's Doovoodal. Shit. Alright, whatever. It's fine. I'm gonna upgrade that barricade. Yeah. Gotta find the right... Oh. Okay, this one. This one. Oh, did the tail and the fairy bottle trigger at the same time? Oh, they did. Well, that sucks. Get rid of the writhe. Armaments. Barricade. Demon form. Limit break. Demon form again. Pommel strike. Burn the clumsy. Okay, so I might... I might be able to beat the, uh... I might be able to beat this round, but I doubt we're getting past it. Because, yeah, unfortunately getting curses from um, from bosses and... Oh my god, yeah, I get both curses and these things from bosses. That's... that is just unfair. But I guess that's kind of the point of uh, of Endless Mode. It's not supposed to be fair. But yeah, Duvudol would be lovely on this run because it would, uh, it would crank up my, my strength by a lot. Because I've been hoarding those curses, hoping to get it. Let's not do Offering on this one. I do it, but I don't need it here. What do we have for Exhume? I have a Limit Break, I have an Offering. Give me that Limit Break. There we go. That's some damage. Let's skip those. Brutality could be kind of interesting, but... Yeah, so no relics from mid-bosses. It's, just... it's a it's a run that wants to lose real hard. Let's start with the Pommel Strike, actually. Yeah, at least at least we've got the boot to kind of keep the damage up, but it, that first that first round limitation with intangible is just so mean. Okay, apotheosis, limit break. Let's drink that. Drink these. Okay, I got. If I use demon form. It'll help, but it might not make that much of a difference. Whereas I could do Limit Break, Pummel, kill that guy, and then these guys aren't going to do a whole lot to me, so I'm just going to sit here. I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep my damage self-harm low. Nice part is those dazes that I've picked up uh, actually works with them. They're still hitting me though. These these guys these guys hurt. Uh Bad luck. Barricade and bash. And metallicize would be lovely. Or thread needle on this run. Honestly. Okay, we're at nine. Uh iron wave. Entrench and Headbutt, which, okay, I do take the damage. We're fine. Body Slam, finally! 
Okay, and it's you. Yeah, there's a there's a couple of things. I should probably get rid of the normality. Uh, next shop we go by. Now that I'm thinking about it. Lose the regret. Get the inflame. Uh, let's see, I could exhume. Let's try and avoid using more of those, though. Okay, demon form. Iron wave. Iron wave. Strike and entrench. Okay, that sets me at 44. This guy's tough. Personally, I think you need more energy. Could use some more energy. I mean... There's many things I could use on this run. Okay, so... He is, he is not even doing his, uh... He's got a trick. Trick? I don't know. He's He's got a thing. He He's supposed to, like, uh, constrain me, but... I guess he doesn't feel like doing it right now. Ah, uh, let's grab entrench. And sword boomerang, at least for some damage. Nope, oh, there it is. I was wondering when that was gonna show up, and we gotta we gotta do offering here. Normality. Okay, seeing red. Ghostly armor. Bash. Limit break. Defend entrance. Or entrench, and then body slam for damage. Yeah, wounded. In a rough position. I think my HP's okay. It really it's just I need Reaper. If I had Reaper or Feed on this run, we'd be uh, we'd be in a much happier position. Uh, without either of those, I feel I feel like I'm going to have a bad time. But then again, I mean, like we've made it. Well, have I only been doing this run for about an hour? Really, it feels like so much longer. Okay, thunderclap. Iron Wave. And Limit Break. Ooh! That hurts. Okay. Juggernaut, Panache. Inflame, Spot Weakness. He's not attacking me on this round. I might not make it. See, what do we have? Exhum, limit break, armaments, seeing red, limit break, defend, body slam, and I die. I made it pretty far. I'm kind of disappointed that the potion stacked with the tail, um, and so on and so forth, but. You know what? This actually worked out really well. Use the potions. They wouldn't have made much of a difference. He was going to kill me. Like, the regen potion would have only given me 15. Um, I, I know people tend to be like, Use your potions! Um, but that that run was dead, no matter what I did. It was just kind of the question of, When? So, yeah. Real, realistically, that was just a run that got kind of nuked via RNG. We could have done some magic things with it, but... The round one intangibility I should not have gone for. Um, that actually turned out to be much more of a, a negative than I thought it was. Because I really am reliant on that round one burst. Uh, and then also just like really bad luck. Mini bosses and bosses not dropping relics. That hurts. That hurts really bad. That's strange. Because having multiple pots don't pop all at once. I, I guess... I don't know. Whatever, it's not a big deal. But yeah, the odds really were against me. But honestly, I made it fairly far. Of like, uh, let's see, check statistics. Nope. It's, uh, compendium? Okay, run history. There we go. What floor did I make it to? Eh, 97. So I only made it a third as far as last time. But then again, last time I had a much, much stronger setup. So go figure.